A research paper on this is a thorough study of the northern part of the country where vigilante groups are now branching into, um, if you like, um, economic ventures. Some of them have become contractors for rosewood harvesting. The chiefs on whose land this rose, uh, rosewood can be found have contracted them. They collected taxes for, for the people and pay the chiefs part of it, the, the pocket uh, 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 part of it. What was the danger in the danger, vigilante the, 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 groups? The, the, the danger uh, then is that vigilantism is becoming so profitable. <laughs> okay, maybe the, the reason why I ask what the danger is in that is, isn't it also a way for the vigilantes to turn over a new leaf and become more economically independent because the view is that vigilantes tend to act according to the dictates of their political masters that, that who are was, funding them. That in fact was not the sense I got. Mm. That it is true that the vigilantes joined the vigilante groups because of lack of money but having become armed and having become used, having become very used to exercising violence The chiefs on whose lands these rose wood trees are harvested find them useful. You are the guys who can do this job. And so if they give up that, their ability to inflict violence, they are no longer useful. <laughs> they are no longer useful for the purpose of extracting. It's not only rose wood harvesting. Check out. What about Galamse? Illegal Galamse, yes. So the, I, guess, I guess then the real danger here is that vigilantes are becoming economically powerful and can do what exactly, they want exactly, and, and exactly, get away exactly, with it, exactly, probably. Exactly, exactly. 